Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you this uh, Laravel Wayfinder, the new package from uh, Laravel, which as you can see here, Wayfinder uh, bridges your Laravel backend and TypeScript frontend with a zero friction, so it automatically generates uh, full type importable TypeScript functions for your controllers and routes. So you can call your uh, Laravel endpoints directly in your client code, just like any other function. And mo no more hard-coded URLs, guessing route parameters, or syncing uh, backend chains manually. Okay, for that uh, I have prepared, I have created a project, which is right here. I'm using React and Inertia, and I have a task, a grad task, so we can create a new task okay we can edit the task so for example let's change the status for this one and yeah it's updated also if i add the dot dot here on the title it's going to update the title very good now let's see i have also installed this uh, package and i'm not going to show you how to install because you have here it's going to take us time to install this and show you. I have installed behind the scenes and now just I'm going to show you. Uh, I am in the index page here where I have a table and display the tasks. And also here I have a, let's scroll down. Yeah, we have this link to create a new task. And I have hard coded the link to be slash tasks slash create which is not a good thing okay if we update the web routes for example to say to say not tasks but a task version one or just task like this is going to i'm going to leave it back we need also to come here and change this link also any link we have mentioned this route but with the inertia we have used the route and specifying the name of the route which is in this case is tasks create okay and if you don't know but every developer knows that when we register the route like this we have tasks for create us dot create or so on. Also, if we have just route get, we specify here the name. Of course, if you don't remember, you can go on the terminal and run the route list command, and it's going to show you the task, the route for that, for task, for example, in this case. But uh, yeah, and this is, I think, a very good way to work with uh, routes. But maybe the Laravel is going to replace because this is a helper from ziki package is going to replace ziki with this uh, wayfinder because i saw on the twitter that the taylor showed us the wayfinder and then some comments said if this is a replace for ziki so let's see how this uh, wayfinder can help us okay so if i say route task create everything is going to work also down there when we have this uh, edit and refresh yeah we have this edit and we navigate the tasks and the idea of the tasks edit i have hard coded as you can see and just i have hard coded to show you this is not a good thing but we can use the route also here so route and specify the name of the route which is in this case is tasks edit and we need to pass here the task id also let me just show you the task controller uh, yeah we have the index here the create we just returned that also the store i just added the defaults and yeah we have a show and edit which is right here pass in the task to assign task and just render inertia task edit component passing here the task on the update and destroy okay and right now everything is going to work correctly so if i go back and yeah let's go back and just this one has first task as a title if i click 
we have first tasks here and if I remove the dots it's going to work yeah but uh, now let's use the wayfinder so here you can run the PHP Artisan wayfinder generate and if you have a controller which I have and also the route and just run this command is going to generate inside the resources JS and action directory is going to generate let's see let's open the uh, yeah we have JS actions here as you can see app SCP controllers and we have the out controller all the controllers here settings and also the task controller and as you see we have uh, export const index with URL and the method index definition also index URL and then index get then we have index head and then export const create with URL and method and so on let's close this and we can use so the usage is like this we import for example we distract the show method from this uh, post controller while finder functions return an object that contains the result url and default http method okay so here we have distracted the show method from the post controller example and this show has the url which match the route for example post slash post slash one and the method is get also method head by saying show head and uh, yeah we also update here with multiple parameters so if you have a post and author you can add an array with a post id and author id or also specifying your post and author also using a slug and yeah it's working also with the invocable controllers you can import as controller like this and just then call in the show yeah uh, also with uh, conventional form so if your application use conventional HTML form submission we find that can help that so if we distract the store dot form and if we need to run the wayfinder generator with a flag dash dash with form and in this case if we change the form here it's going to generate an action slash post and method post if we have for update so distract that date call in form is going to say action post for id and then passing here also the underscore method to be patched because we need to specify the method as a post here yeah you can read here the documentation but in our project what we can do is first instead of saying like this route task create we can uh, use now let's let's import first and i'm going to just copy this paste it here to save some time in our case we have tasks and yeah let's just say task controller and i'm going to import the show and also the edit method okay not show the create sorry create and edit because i want to create url and the edit url or its corresponding type declaration okay let's uh, just import like this yeah and now let's use the create and edit so in our link instead of using the route we can use the create method and saying create url like this this is going to point uh, slash task slash create and also down there when we use route tasks edit we can say edit url passing the task id let's see let's open the browser or refresh first let's see for the new task yeah we navigate on the task create and we can create a new task okay which is right here now let's see for the edit if i click 
and just let's say update it. Update the task. We see here updated. Okay. We can also change the status. And yeah, everything works also by using this wayfinder. Now for the form, because also here we have, if we scroll down, we have uh, Wayfinder and Inertia. We have an example using a form. So const form and uh, then we say form.submit passing the store method which we have imported from the post controller. And yeah, we have a link here. That is okay, we worked with that. But this is not going to work, I think. Let's see. Let's go to create. And uh, yeah, here we use, I have just used this form because in most cases we distract the data and so on, but I have added something like this just to show you an example we have here. So on the, value i added the form data title okay instead of just distracting the data and using data the title also here form set data and so on also on the form processing here instead of just distracting the processing i just added form dot processing that's just to show you this example and then on the form we say on submit submit here okay then on this submit we just we first we prevent the default from reloading the page and then we use this form post route okay using the route which is good but it's, here we have an example using the form.submit and then passing the call in the store here and let's see if i just copy as it is right here and we're going to comment this and paste this one. Expect two or three arguments, but right now we don't have the store method, so let's import. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to import the not post controller, but task controller, and also let's import it like this which is okay we have an underline error so expect two or three arguments but got only one and let's see let's go here let's hard refresh let's create a new task create a task nothing inspect the element because we have an error go to the console and yeah as you can see, we have this error here. It's not a function. So this is not going to work. But if we say just store dot URL, the same thing, we have error because we say submit expects two arguments, but got one. And if I uh, just log on the console this uh, store, method okay let's refresh here and i'm going to just see if i just click here we have you a method and the url is pointer slash task which is okay and let me say here form submit method to be post and url task is not going to work what the submit expects is only to be post like this and then the url task so let's come here and refresh and if i say create it's going to return the validation error and if we submit here and say create it's going to create that so we don't need the url and method but uh, instead of now let's remove this and we can if we want we can work with this we can say form dot uh, post 
and then just use the store for the URL, store.url. And this is going to work. So let's come here and refresh. Let's go and create a new one. First, if I say, yeah, we have validation, then to start, or let's say it like this. And yeah, it's going to create. Now that's the same thing we can use on the update. Let me just copy this and open the edit. And yeah, here I have a destruct here, as you can see. But yeah, instead of using the route and passing the ID, we can import not the store, but we need to import the update here. And then here we say put and say update, passing the task ID, but we need the URL here and pass in the task ID. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, as you can see, if I hard refresh, okay, let's go to this, to the last one, edit, I'm going to add dot dot dot, update, and we have updated this one, and we can also change the status right now is with X. If I change the status update now we have check okay friends this is uh, how this package right now because maybe it's going to change but right now it's going to help us just to have the url instead of questing hard to code that or using the route okay and maybe in the future that the route from ziggy is going to be replaced with uh, this. Now that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. If you like such videos and such uh, tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.